Once upon a time, long, long ago, I adopted a son, a perfectly normal boy, who I named, without a second thought, Alan. A simple name, easy to remember. He was a perfectly normal boy, normal in every way. He enjoyed all the things that young boys do enjoy, such as sport. Booze. And girls. Perfectly normal until one day on his way home from school. He attempted to cross the road at a zebra crossing where his playmates had previously crossed. Accosted by an irate lollipop lady, tired of young boys abusing her authority, he was forced to wait at the roadside while the lollipop lady became distracted talking to a stray housewife. Impatient by nature, Alan made a dash for it. The lollipop lady took this opportunity to give vent to years of pent-up anger, hitting him repeatedly about the face. It was thus that Alan became the boy with the big face. <gasps> My first thought was to take the tiny boy, place him in a sack, and throw him in the canal. But you know, I looked at that large round face and took pity. After all, an adopted son is not just for Christmas, but for life. I accepted him as one of my own. I knew there would be problems ahead. He would routinely get his head stuck in railings. He could never wear a roll neck jumper, but you know, he was great in goal. Shunned by society, termed an outcast, taunted by his former playmates, Alan became depressed. And so, I organized a special boat trip to France. It was a beautiful sunny day when we arrived at the harbor and we were greeted by our captain, a tolerant man himself of above-average sized face. Oh, he welcomed us, and we climbed aboard his little vessel. Why, Alan, and I must confess, I too was excited. A boat trip to France. Just think of all that lovely duty-free. Off we sailed, and Alan, why, he even danced a jig. Then suddenly, a storm blew up. Storm clouds gathered. Waves ripped the boat apart. The wind blew up, and rain showered down upon our heads. The captain quickly appeared and beckoned us from the poop deck to below. Why, being British, we made the most of it. We took a bottle of our duty-free wine and made a toast to the king. Oh, when will this storm cease? Suddenly, a French flying fish smashed the porthole and we started to take on water. Why, we were sinking into the ocean. Quick as a flash, little Alan took his giant face and stuffed it into the porthole acting like a giant cork. Why, he saved the boat from sinking that day. The vessel limped home, and a huge crowd had gathered to welcome us, all wanting to get a glimpse of the boy with the big face. Pretty soon, the story broke nationwide, and all the papers covered it. He was even awarded his own special medal by the king, but you know, the ribbon was just ever so slightly too short to get over his big fat face. But how the crowd cheered this little boy. Well, you know, success brings many things, 
fame, wealth, and love. Because Alan met a girl of, well, while not of huge face, she certainly had a larger than average face. Alan and the girl became lovers. And as they walked off into the distance, and I saw his face getting smaller and smaller as he walked away from me, I thought to myself, if only it were possible to keep it that size, but have it, well, closer. Of course, that could never be. It would always be the boy with the big face. <laughs>